When a child dies from ab abuse, that is, the first question many people ask is, where was CPS? Caseworkers in Texas take on an estimated 18 cases at a time. Turnover is high, and the ones who stay sometimes get burned out. Investigative reporter Cheryl Mercedes says two days, spent two days on the job with workers in Harris County. Cheryl? Len, in the last few months, I've done a series of investigations into CPS. Until now, CPS told me they had no comment, but now they are giving us access. They want people to understand what a caseworker is dealing with day in and day out. We spent the day with an investigator who was working a case that made news the day before. You may recall it was a toddler who was killed when he was hit by a car. And there's just always things going on left and right in this city. It never stops. Stephanie Shremblin is a different kind of caseworker. She is a child fatality investigator. You ever get burned out? There's been a couple times I've been burned out. Um, not in the fatality unit yet, um, but in regular investigations, there was times. Shremblin's case involves 21-month-old Alan Vieta. The toddler was hit by a car and killed in the parking lot of an apartment complex. Surveillance video shows his mom, Giselle Vasquez, holding her infant, walking several feet ahead of the boy. She was charged with child endangerment. Shrimplin must interview the children's father to determine whether the surviving sibling is safe. Look at you. Look at all the hair. Shrimplin takes the baby to a private room to see if there are any marks or bruises on her body. I need to check her uh, stomach and her legs and her bottom. Once Shrimplin determines the child is healthy, she interviews her father. When Alan was living, how was your discipline with him? Once the interview is over, the young man grabs his phone. He breaks down after watching a video of his son. <laughs> Hang in there. I'm sorry. As Shrimplin wraps her interview with the child's father, the mother, Vasquez, who just made bail, arrives. Because I'm just trying to figure out, like, where the evidence is to why you got arrested. Vasquez tells Shrimplin she fainted and does not remember much. She also mentions another surveillance camera may tell a different story. Sometimes there are multiple stories and there are discrepancies in stories and you just try to do your best to find out who plays what role and then just try to figure out what the truth is. CPS takes the information they gather and decides if a child is safe. If not, they consider several options, including placing them with other relatives or getting the court involved.